Hey there guys, Phoenix Aurelius here. Thank you for joining us for this laboratory report for September 2022 at the Phoenix Aurelius Research Academy. Uh, we, we, as always, every single month we continue working on salts and producing a large quantity of salts. We're still researching, working with the potassium bitartrate pathway. It seems to be very promising. And we've also noted a couple of interesting things between an anaerobic and an aerobic ferment of the uh, water, the filtered water that is used after we are done leaching and crystallizing our potassium bitartrate. It, there's a very interesting effect that's happening there. They look like large coagulated snowballs in the anaerobic and even the aerobic kind of starts out like that, but it's developed a SCOBY and that SCOBY has a red colonization. We haven't taken a look at this under the microscope yet, but we will before too long. And uh, hopefully we can take some photos of what we see under the microscope because it's very, very interesting. Um, and technically this would count as a type of GUR or a type of uh, open air colonization or closed air colonization of whatever microbes are present inside of that water. But we're using deuterium depleted distilled water. So we know that we have absolutely no microbes to begin with and then just the introduction of the potassium bitartrate really does something quite interesting. So we're still researching that. There's a lot to get into there. That might take months, years, multiple years even to really come to a completion on, but I think it's really interesting and noteworthy to talk about. Uh, speaking about salts though, we added uh, salts to 26 different tinctures and we finished 19 spagyric tinctures. Uh, some of these spagyric tinctures are actually split tests, and they are what we would refer to as astronomological split tests. So people are always asking me when I talk to them about the astronomical and astronomological and astrological uh, effects in the lab work and how my work and research has differed pretty significantly from a lot of the traditional methods that exist. They always ask me like, well, how do you know? How do you know? And it's like, well, I have years and years, over 200 or more clients at this point where we've treated uh, Enzestrale very easily utilizing our method and we can't do it otherwise. I also had just about two years, a little less than two years, of experience during uh, 2014 20, uh, to early 2016 where uh, I had, again, clients in a clinical environment to be able to test which style of astrology would actually give me the best prediction of the symptoms that they have and all those things. So all of that is part of the ENS Astrale thing. I also have a ton of experience with the agricultural component, but in the lab, this is where people have the most resistance to it because they're like, well, you know, these, these old charts that were passed on from the 19th century say this and this and this and this and this. And yeah, the truth is they do say those things and they were, were highly conjectural at best as far as I can tell. And so what we're doing over here is taking things where we harvest them on our actual astronomological dates and get them tincturing as well on those very same dates. And then we find that exact same plant, the exact same bunch of it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and then tincture it on a different time and a different date. That way we keep as many of the variables and controls as controlled as we possibly can and narrow out the variables. Um, and then we can see what the actual differences are by testing them organoleptically as well as testing them with intrinsic data field analysis and so on and so forth. So um, we are doing that with valerian flowering tops as well as yarrow flowering tops uh, this year. And uh, we have three different split tests of fresh valerian flowering tops and two of yarrow if I remember right. Uh, in addition to those, we also have a fresh wild rose uh, that we have from one of our favorite canyons here. We also have Asian hawthorn fruit, cumin seed, grains of paradise, lilac flowers, Chinese privet fruit, Cape jasmine fruit, datura flowers, uh, Aztec blooming tobacco flowers, Chinese plantain seed, jalapeno, habanero, serrano, and cayenne chilies. Um, we also have Nepal flower, Shasta daisy, comfrey flower uh, as well. So there are a lot of different products that we have worked on just in the month of September. We also created a one gallon production run of uh, spagyric tincture of cilantro for one of our clients and we've started freeze drying an enormous quantity of uh, cilantro biomass. Just to give you an idea, it takes 80 grams, of, sorry, 160 grams per gallon of freeze dried cilantro for us to be able to produce this. Um, that's 
160 grams is basically like 30 bunches of fresh cilantro. So think of all of that going into a single gallon. It's a tremendous amount. The only way that we're actually able to do this is through our unique freeze drying process and proprietary extraction method that we have for this. Uh, so it takes a long time to prep. We started in late September and we're still working through it right now. We also made a batch of liposomal vitamin C for one of our other clients. And we made a 50 bottle batch of spagyrosomal vitamin C for our own store. I think uh, the majority of that is still available online if you are interested. We deep cleaned the laboratory. We also made a batch of uh, Glasgowvin and she milk, as well as some incense for the Utah Pagan Market, which is coming up on October 30th, held at Evermore. This is going to be really cool. These are the first two times that I've commercially offered my incense blends as well as my she milk. And I do that under a spiritual name of Finishka Nashlua, which is uh, part of my Druid tradition, Celtic spirituality. So uh, I'm excited to be able to offer those, especially to the pagan market who is you know, very interested in those things as well as all of the other tonics, potions, elixirs, et cetera, that we have to offer uh, at an event like that. We also harvested coriander seed from our own garden. Um, it's almost time to harvest the fennel seed too, now that I say that out loud, it reminds me. And then we funded the emergency harvesting of a couple of Appalachian plants. So there is a mountain where they are going to be completely demolishing this entire section of the mountain in order to build a highway in this uh, rural area of Virginia. And one of our friends from United Plant Savers and a very dear friend, Laura Questenberry, uh, is going out there and getting all of the medicinal plants on the tract of land that they are looking to excavate so that all those plants don't just go to waste. We are paying top dollar, sometimes more than a dollar a gram fresh weight in order for these. Um, some of them are very rare, like false unicorn root and unicorn root itself, trillium, etc. Like they're not very easily obtainable through most folks and they're not that sustainable to harvest either. Uh, same with wild American ginseng and uh, so many other different types of things. So we have funded all of these different plants at extremely sustainable prices for the harvesters to go out there and get all of these and to be able to save all of these plants so that they can at least be used, loved, appreciated, turned into medicine instead of literally just destroyed and run over with bulldozers and allowed to rot into the ground. So. Um, that's pretty cool. And during the month of September, we got three of them very solidly finished and started a fourth. But uh, we have black cohosh, blue cohosh, and giant Solomon seal that uh, have already arrived to us. Um, we also have, uh, and, and we processed and dehydrated those. I also created a split test using two different quantities of uh, giant Solomon seal in its fresh state. And we'll be split testing that now that we've dried it. Uh, on one of our upcoming root days, either sometime throughout October or perhaps through November. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then on, in hand at right now, we have trillium root, false unicorn root, and we also have some wild yam. So that's really cool. We're still awaiting the American ginseng, but we will have American ginseng root, American ginseng leaf, American ginseng berry, all completely sustainably wild harvested. And in fact, it's an emergency harvest to be able to utilize these plants. That's why we're able to get them. So uh, it's a very rare thing. It was only because we have really cool connections with Laura as of the Good Medicine Confluence uh, that we were able to even make that happen. So that's pretty cool. And I'm really excited. I can now tell you about this awesome project I've been working on for the last couple of years. Um, it's a white label project. It wasn't <laughs> initially designed to be spread out so long and not released until now, but that's just sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. So the name of the business is called Urban Dieta, and this is run by Dan Larson. You've probably heard me, if you're used to listening to these lab reports, uh, mention his name quite a bit throughout 2022 and also mid to late 2021. Um, Dan Larson has now created this awesome website, UrbanDieta.com. It debuts these three flagship products basically called see hear and feel now I'm really excited about these products because these are new and cool iterations of items of pharmacopoeia that I'm not really sure what to call them they blur the they kind of blur the lines between uh, philosophic spagyric essence 
as well as a uh, spagyric tincture or even a spagyric formulation with multiple different herbs extracted at the same time. So we don't really know what to call them, but for those of you who took my spagyric artistry courses, especially between about 2015 and 2018 or so, you know that that's one of my very favorite things to do is to create items of pharmacopoeia that don't necessarily conform to the traditional uh, methods of creating them, but it's an artistic expression of two or more different types of things coming together to lend all of its medicinal and spiritual virtue to the individual. And I formulated every single one of these uh, formulations, see, hear, and feel 100% of the way uti uh, utilizing IDF technology. So the number of herbs, which herbs to use, how much of each of them, everything was all divined by my own hand using the SE5-2000 to be able to find out how to go about doing this. And the results are just absolutely pristine and perfect. The products are all tasty and they're very, very, very efficacious. So C helps your clairvoyance, um, hear helps your clairaudience, and feel helps your clairsentience. And when I say it helps it, what I mean to say is that it actually opens the astral channels that allow those things to be able to be expressed more readily. So uh, Urban Dieta calls them uh, meditation supplements, uh, which I think is a great thing, but they go even beyond that. They really do help to open up the entire astral channels that lead to your clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairsentience inside of you. Uh, possibly, if you use it with a practice or with a meditation practice uh, specifically for this or psychic development things, it's going to help to open those psychic channels and keep them open in a way that you've probably not experienced before. So we have loved them over here uh, as we've been working with them for months and months and months and perfecting them, running the production runs and so on and so forth. But now you get the opportunity to try them. We don't sell them in our store. This is only on Dan's store. So go to urbandieta.com and you'll be able to find all three of them. So that's really cool. It's uh, finally the announcement of projects we've been working on for ages. So I feel really good finally being able to tell you about that. And lastly, uh, we created a loyalty program now where we're able to reward you, all of our loyal customers and supporters, for purchases that you make on our store. And we've wanted to do this for a long time just as a way of like kicking back and showing our thanks and our gratitude to everybody in ways other than like, oh, let's just run a general 20% off sale or 25% off sale. Now those of you that spend the most will get rewarded the most. And I really love this opportunity because it, it's a way of us just being able to show you how we feel about you and being able to reward you the more that you support us and to give back to you because we get so much from you. It's so important for us to be able to do that. And this loyalty program really allows us to do that and it's very seamless. So we will be tonifying it over the next couple of months, especially weeks and months. Um, we'll be taking a look at how it works for you and how it works for us and being able to like get that, that process really dialed in so that there's a nice, awesome balance between it all. Uh, as you use it, if you've created your account online and you have uh, any sort of feedback about the system, don't hesitate to go ahead and reach out to us, support at phoenixrelius.org. You can let us know like what types of rewards you would like to see. And you know if you feel like it's imbalance that you're spending too much for the amount of rewards that you're getting or getting too many rewards for the amount that you're spending. I'm, I doubt many of you will write in about that last one. But still, all of these types of things we want to take a look at to be able to find the best balance possible and to be able to reward you for helping us continue our research because this is a really niche area that we focus on. And to be able to do this not only fulfills the life dreams of us and our employees, but it really is going to be helping massively over the next century, two centuries, three centuries in the future, the work that we're doing today, people will be able to stand on the shoulders of what we're doing and take this so much further, being able to find out how to synergize nature for the health of nature and the health of humanity and creating a symbiosis between the two. So we're really excited about this. If you have any thoughts about it, don't hesitate to let us know. As always, I'm sure that there's a lot more that we did during September that has escaped my mind, but those are definitely the key points. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at phoenixaurelius.org. And in the meantime, thank you so much for all of your support. It really means the world to us. Have a great day, and we'll catch you soon.